January 9, 1927 was René Roy's 14th birthday, and what better way to celebrate than go to the movies? The Laurier Palace Theater on St. Catherine Street East was packed for the Sunday matinee. René and his brother went up to sit in the balcony. Soon, the whole audience was in stitches over Stan Laurel's new comedy, Get Em Young. Later, that title would seem like a tragic omen. 20 minutes into the show, fire broke out in the balcony. There was a stampede to the stairs. 78 children, including René, were killed. It all happened so fast. The Gazette reported, a minute or two was sufficient to fill the stairway with a solid, suffocating, groaning, shrieking, and dying mass. The tragedy struck every street in the working class Hochelaga neighborhood. Police constable Albert Boisseau was off duty, but he went to help. Rescuers were laying out the bodies of the children on the sidewalk. Boisseau recognized his eldest daughter, Germaine, among the dead. Later, he went to the morgue and found his two other children, Roland and Yvette. He lost his whole family. The Gazette described the scene at the morgue. There they lay, some with blood-stained faces, others smoke-blackened, most of them just pale suffocated to death. Bright red mufflers, green sweaters, round-toed little shoes, tousled hair, upraised fists, chubby faces wrinkled and distorted into grimaces of the agony in which they died. Thousands gathered at the parish church of La Nativité for the funeral two days later. Archbishop Georges Gautier gave the eulogy. He wasted no time before calling for a law banning children from movie theaters. Fire safety measures were not enough. Children's moral safety was even more important. I want this event to teach a lesson, the Archbishop said. The newspaper Le Devoir and L'Action Française, a nationalist group founded by Lionel Gru, called for a crackdown. A hideous evil is attacking our nation, particularly our children. It undermines and corrupts everything, the body, the brain, and the morals. This hideous evil is the movies, L'Action Française thundered. And who is behind this evil but the Jews, it warned, saying Quebec might have to become a fascist state like Italy to protect its children. The Quebec government had no choice but to act. In 1928, it passed a law banning all children under 16 from cinemas. Youngsters were not allowed to go to the movies in Quebec until the 1960s. 